Mikey, you let me know when you're ready. Ready, sir. All right, well, then let's do it. Questions for Alec. You haven't played in a while. You're coming back from a knee injury. How do you think you did today? Yeah, I thought I did pretty well. Um, this team, a lot of playing goalkeeper for this team is being able to help us build out of the back, and I think I helped us relieve pressure and um, helped us get out of the out of their press, which was pretty high at the start and was high for most of the game. Uh, I thought decision making was pretty good. Would have liked to have done better on the first goal, but um, at the end of the day, the guys defended unbelievably well the rest of the game and and uh, closed the game out for me. How satisfying six points uh, from this tough stretch of three games in eight days? Yeah, I mean. Really tough stretch, three good teams, uh, two of which away from home. So we should be really proud of that, get back to Atlanta and rest and look forward to next Sunday at home. What exactly happened to your knee? Yeah, just, just some swelling. It was week to week. Um, when Brad went down, it was kind of like you need to get back in training and, and get ready to play. So that's the life of a goalkeeper. You just always have to be ready. Miles made his second start of his career in Major League Soccer. How do you think he did tonight? Yeah, Miles is a special player. Uh, he's got a really bright future. You can see it on display. His passing is getting better every game. Uh, defensively, he's always been great, but the little parts of the game, the intangibles are getting there, and um, sky's the limit for him. Um, Go ahead. Obviously, Orlando City answering this game was answering uh, the six-game winning streak, and you guys coming kind of <laughs> sink the disappointing result on them. I mean, how could, uh, looking back at that game, how important was that not only to get road points, but to kind of end their winning streak at the same time? Yeah, I mean, obviously, Orlando's a geographic rival, so this is a game everyone's up for, obviously, every game, but um, this one especially. Um, we knew there'd be space to play, and we were able to exploit it early on. We could have gone into halftime 3 or 4 zero up and had the game dead, but um, made it a little difficult on ourselves. But at the end of the day, a uh, huge result for us. Did you get hit by any bottles? I did not, but there were probably 300 bottles on the field, which is not good. Go ahead. There's been talk about this being a rivalry. Is it starting to feel like that, or is, is that something that kind of takes time for it to be built? I think it takes time. I mean, this atmosphere is unbelievable no matter who we're, who they're playing. So uh, credit to them for filling up the stands and, and making it a tough place to come win a game, but fortunately we did. Now you got Red Bulls next week, and, the, and then New England after that. This, this tough stuff just does not stop. Yeah, an, another pressing team in Red Bull that will come in and be organized and uh, try to stop us from getting out on the break. So we got to prepare all week for another tough game. Did you know that y'all already tied your mark for road wins from last season? I didn't, but not surprising. I mean, our form on the road minus Houston has been great. I mean, we've come in with great game plans. Guys have been mentally sharp, and we've uh, done what we need to do. Anything else for Al? Cool. Right. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. NASCAR loading. Credit to Alec Can Blow for tonight's <laughs> fantastic performance. Yeah, I forgot the plug. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.